matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Planets are made of matter. Your desk is made of matter. You are made of matter. And the air in this room is made of matter. Matter comes in four different forms. We call those forms states of matter. And they are solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Solids have a definite shape and volume. In other words, a desk is shaped like a desk. It's a solid. It takes up as much space as a desk takes up. It's a solid. The particles in a solid are very close together. There's a lot of attraction between them. Solid particles don't move very much, and usually there's some type of orderly arrangement between the particles. If the particles in a solid have a repeating pattern, we call that a crystal, and we say that that's a crystalline solid. Sometimes the particles don't have any kind of a pattern. That's more like a wax or a blobby kind of solid. We say those are amorphous. The word amorphous means that it doesn't have a shape. So candles are amorphous. It's a solid that can be any shape. Liquids are kind of like solids in that they have a definite volume. The volume of your desk, which is a solid, is the same if your desk is here or in a different room. It's still the same size desk. Liquids are always the same size. If you have a gallon of milk, it's the same size whether it's in a gallon container or if it's spilled on the floor, it's still the same amount of milk. If you have a, a cup of water, it's still a cup of water whether it's in a cup or a vase. It's still the same volume of water. But liquids are different because they don't have the same shape. Liquids take on the shape of their container. If the water is in a vase, it takes on the shape of a vase. If it's in a teacup, it takes on the shape of the teacup. Liquids are the shape of the container that they're in. Now particles in a liquid will vibrate. They move a little bit and they slide past each other much more than they do in a solid. There's some space in between the particles too, which allows them to flow and to move. Wants to move or doesn't want to move. For example, honey is very thick. If you poured honey on the table, it would mostly kind of just ooze about. That's because honey has a high viscosity. But if you put water on the table, it's going to spread everywhere. Honey doesn't like to flow. Water flows a lot. Water has a low viscosity. You can think of viscosity like thickness. Gases are like liquids because they also don't have a definite shape. The air in our classroom is shaped like our classroom. But if you take that air and push it into a balloon, it'll be shaped like a balloon. Gases are different than liquids, though, because they also don't have a definite volume. You can take that balloon and you can squeeze it to make it a smaller size. You can stretch it out to make it a bigger size. You can take the air inside our classroom and you can squeeze it into a small container or let it spread out into a much bigger container. That's because gas particles are in constant motion. They're always spinning around. They're very, very far spaced out because there's very little attraction between them. The fourth state of matter is called a plasma. Plasmas are very unique. They're not like solids, liquids, and gases where the particles remain as atoms. Instead, these particles have been changed into something called an ion, which we're going to talk more about later on. Plasmas don't to have a definite shape or a definite volume. It's the kind of substance you might find in a star, or in fire, or in lightning. It's not a solid, it's not a liquid, but it's not a gas either. It's a fourth state called plasma, and it's different because the particles have changed. That's the fourth state of matter. Now you can use this chart to complete the summary chart at the end of your notes.